Hey guys, welcome to For Tutorials. Guys, today I create really cool Cinema 4D text effect in Cinema 4D with using Rony Fracture tool. So firstly guys, I take more text and guys, I type Cinema. You can type any name and alignment, take middle, font, I change, font, use this one, primitive and guys, decrease depth. I take only like 15 and now guys I take Brawny Fracture tool, select Brawny Fracture, select this more text and make child with Brawny Fracture, yes and I go to display, select God Shading Lines, that's cool. Guys again I go to more text and I go to caps and create single object check and guys I take plane I create slices so orientation I take plus Z little bit back go on mid yeah that's enough and increase size like this breadth size I take 900 and guys height take like 200 and maintain yes and now guys change breadth segments and height segments breadth segments take 50 and height 20 is good and guys i go on Brawny fracture tool and source guys select this point generate and press delete key delete that's it select this plane drag and drop in source yes see guys this is my grid right Select plane, go on mid. Yeah. And after that, guys, I create one more text. So select all and copy the shortcut command is press control key, drag and drop. Yes, go on back. I go to top view panel. Guys, select this Brawny fracture and go on back. Yeah, that's it. And now change grid size. Guys, select the second Brawny Fracture tool. Select this plane and press delete. Select this copy. Select Brawny Fracture plane 2. Yes. And change plane size. Select this plane 1. Breadth size change randomly like 20 and 10. See guys, right? This is my first plane size and this is my second and create last one. Guys, select this Rodney Fracture 1 and plane 1 and copy. Same control key and drag and drop. Yes. And go on back. Yes. And again, guys, change this plane size. Select Brawny Fracture, delete this one, drag and drop plane 2 and change plane 2 size like 5 and 2. Yeah, that's good. Guys, I create randomly checker box. So you can hide all plane. Select plane, hide and hide on render. Plane 1, hide and hide on renders. Same, hide and hide on renders. Guys, see, this is my final text. And now I create animation. So select this all plane, go on up and select only Brawny Fracture. And I go to more graph effector and use random. Yes, good. Guys, select this random and I go to parameter. Position take zero. X position only, guys. X position I take 0 and I increase frame like 300 and enter and guys create animation so I increase Y axis and Z axis Y like 100 and Z position 
take 1200 and check all and I go to guys 280 frames and all position take 0, 0, 0 and 0 and check right I show you go on back see guys there's my randoms cubic and go on back and play yes great so guys I apply material also apply material so select all Rodney fracture and I go to object colorize fragments uncheck and load material create and load material select my Sunima 4D studio lighter material apply yellow on top front one blue in mid and purple on third right this is so colorful and guys also apply cinema 4d studio light go on file and merge yes go on zero frame guys and i go to top view panel actually front view panel select flow and background and down yeah that's it and last one guys i also create camera animation I take camera and camera check guys position all position firstly take 0 0 0 and 0 0 and now guys Y position take 100 and Z position take like 300 yes little bit more like 350 more 400 yeah 400 is good and press this animation key and also change this rotation guys take B rotation take minus 90 and check right and I go to 250 frame and Z rotation actually Z position this one last one take minus 300 and enter and check and rotation take 0 and check go on back and play guys change also change focus length and sensor size focal length decrease like 20 and sensor size film get take 80 yes guys change little bit closer closer yeah like z position 250 and press this animation key on camera guys this is my final animation and play See guys, this is looking really cool. Yeah, better. So guys, hide this light. So uncheck camera and select this light, overhead top box, mid and rotate, rotate, yes, on zero degree, little bit back. Okay. again go on camera and zero frame and play see guys this is looking really new and cool animation right so guys all is good I go on render setting guys I take best render setting and fast so I go on render setting here this is my save file path you can take mp4 but I take jpeg sequences and output use full hd frame this one not yes and frame range use all guys effect ambient occlusion maximum sam 1 to 8 accuracy take 100% guys anti select best and global illumination samp is good medium and record density take low that's it guys this is my good render setting and save this is my save file path go on desktop create folder like text and take any file name enter yeah so close 
and render right guys and press ok so guys this is my simple small tutorial is finished if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can also change color correction i show you how to change color correction i go on filter enable filter check saturation like 20 brightness i take 1 and contrast take 10 right so go on back guys this is my final animation right so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you